Hey guys, Boney McBonerton here, and welcome back. Oh, whoa, what the? Oh, that was weird. Okay, we'll take DC Dream. In the last episode, we helped out a man named Vince and his vampire clan. Or Vance, sorry. Thinking of Postal 2. And... Ooh. I didn't even know these were here. Ooh, definitely taking that. Oh. Oh. Now this. These are important. I won't go into detail why or how, but trust me, you're gonna want to collect all five of these. Paul, it's me, Tina. I heard back from my sister Candace. We couldn't get into a vault. 101, 87, didn't matter. All full to capacity. But my brother Alex is a soldier, and he sort of stole the passcode for a secure army bunker. He did it for the family, but they caught him. Before they took him into custody, Alex, he sent us each one number of the four-digit code. That way we all have to be together to get in. He gave me number five, the day of my birth. So I guess what I'm saying is I'm still leaving. It's been fun, kind of. Oh, and I'm not pregnant. So, no worries. Oh, well, good for you. Wait, who are you shooting at? Here, maybe I should give you a second opinion, sir. I win. Now then. No, oh, it's just another dog. Yeesh. That house looks important, though. May as well search it while I'm here, I guess. Nah. Ooh. What the? What the hell? Oh shit! What the fuck? Oh yeah, I heard stone it. Now then. Cover. Got all the good stuff out of there. Now let's head to over here to the shrine of the giant ice cream man. For he is all knowing and all wise. You scream, we scream, we all scream if we do not obey ice cream man. Oh, by the way, I have some good news. Tomorrow, I am going to be looking at a new truck. Yes, a car of my very own that I do not have to share with a sibling. And it's a truck. So either way, I win.
And we're here. Hey you. Hey there. I've got sh oh the crow. Spirits told me you'd be coming and that you're looking to buy. Actually, welcome, I'm welcome. My name is Crow and I travel the You bear the look. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it all. Have a look. See if anything calls out to you. Okay, so we'll give you the uh Nailboard, nailboard. And I'll keep the. I'll give you a hunting rifle. Miscellaneous. Give you all the Braxa cleaner you could want. A cotton cigarettes. Hmm. Actually, I'll take a. Uh, And accept. Thanks. You're welcome. So glad I Walk well, you. friend. Hello. Mm, Paradise Falls. Hold it right there. Nobody's allowed into Paradise Falls except on slaver business. And I get to decide what qualifies as slaver business. Paradise Falls? What's that? Are you kidding me? You've never heard of Paradise Falls? What? Are you right out of the vault? Yes. Paradise Falls is home to the slavers. Up there, we sell the slaves that we capture out in the wastes. So, unless you're either buying or selling, piss off. Slaves, huh? Well, everyone's got to make a living. Yep, and if you're not tough enough to survive, at least you can be useful to those of us who are. I don't have time to chit-chat with that help. Let me in already. Yeah, okay. Be a smartass. See where that gets you. Everyone has a price. What's yours? We might be able to work something out, but it won't be cheap. If I vouch for you and you go mess up our groove, it's my ass on the line. I think 500 caps should cover it. What do you say? Mm, yeah, I'm not going to pay that much. Fine. I didn't think you would anyway. You done bothering me yet? Piss off. You looking to fight, asshole? Just say the word. Hmm. Maybe I could use someone like you. Think you can round up some assets for Eulogy Jones? Might get you into paradise. You want a fucking resume? Just tell me what to do, asshole. You might fit in after all. Eulogy's got a special contract out on a few VIPs. I'm too damn busy, or I'd go get them myself. I'll split the commission with you, and don't you get all bitchy. Do this for me, and I'll get you into paradise. I'll round up some slaves for you, but what's the catch? I'm glad you asked. I got this Mesmatron thing. It's some kind of stun gun. I want you to test it out for me, a little research project. You take this Mezer, shoot it at some poor schmuck. While he's in La La Land, you slip one of these collars over his head. Be careful with that collar. It'll explode if you tinker with it. Tell the slave to boot it over here pronto or his head'll pop. You got all that? I hate repeating myself. That Mesmatron came with some kind of manual. I don't have time for that bullshit, so you better know how to read. Mm. Tell me about the slave collar. Jesus! Do you ever shut the hell up? What do you want to know? How does the collar work? It's got a radio signal we monitor here at Paradise Falls. If a slave's going the wrong direction, we push a button, and boom, his head pops. Once you get a collar on, you can't take it off in the field. They're wired to blow if anyone tinkers with it. So don't. All right. All right, it's time for me to go. Great, I was wondering when you'd finally shut up. When I go postal on this place, you're the first to go, Groose. I just want you to know. And I'm a man of my word. There's Matron, and we are going to... Data on the map. And for now, we are going to... Like, uh, right here. 
You will see in a bit why I went out of my way to grab this. Alright, now then, it's, uh, this way. I can just, uh, jump over here, cut across, go that way. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Um, well, let's see what this does. Why is everything all blurry? Hi there. I, uh, don't feel so good. I want to show you magic trick. You mind if I borrow some of your s stuff? Magic trick? Like, like you'll make something disappear? Sure. I'd like to see you do that. I'm gonna take. <laughs> There's a thief about, and you seem distracted. I'll hold on to your gear. A thief? Yeah, I'm feeling a little out of it. Maybe you better hold on to this stuff, you know, to keep it safe or whatever. Alright, right. Have you been drinking? You better go get some rest. Huh? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh blood, just right for the taking. You? Yeah, tear them apart. You're joking, right? Well, I gotta teach you the hard way, don't Stop. I? Oh, I know, I know. Stop moving around so much. Here, watch this. Wait, what? Let's try that again. Binge. Now then. Oh. Oh. oh fuck. Right. Hey, how about this? Oh shh! His fucking head exploded. <gasps> Yo, hold on. Uh, that, that that that's that's not normal. You're. Oh! Ah! What's going on? I, uh, don't feel so good. Here, like, give A me your thief? shit. Yeah, I'm... Take that, that, that. Hi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I stole, I stole... <laughs> Weapons and, um, hunting rifle. Killing time. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, time. Yeah, it hurts. Don't bitch. Now then. Dude's fucking head exploded, Jesus. Oh god, the no not the flies. Good. 
Now then. Aid, blow find me, dog me, and we're good. Gun. I mean, really? Uh, yeah, that sucks. Now then, let's read what we got here. Empty soda bottles. And that looks to be about fucking it. What, no fancy lever or anything just oh well, fuck you too and we're here finally at minefield Dead dude. Give me them shells. What else we got? Very hard to walk. Oh fuck. Anything in the kitchen? Uh, yeah, I'll take the dandy boy apples. I'll take all the food. No. Box, darts, cherry bombs, medical brace, blah blah blah, and hold on. My little cakes and weapons. Yeah, I don't need the pool cue too much. Or the tire iron, or a knife. Three baseball bats, though, Jesus. Talk about repetitive. And. <laughs> fucking. Ooh. Ah, finally, a game that allows me to sleep with two dead people. Or at least have a threesome with them. Come on, boys, let's rattle them bones. Oh. Yeah. Nothing there. All right, let's head back out. Okay, now best way to disable a landmine is to walk up to it and rise the beeps, tap it with E, and then you can pick it up. Oh, oh shit. Oh, did I mention cars explode? Like that. Because they do. Yeah, I can't hit this. Okay. I'm going inside, fuck that. Let's see. Uh... Useless, useless. Pre war book. We need to get as many of those as we can. Yeah, welcome to Post Apocalyptic Hoarder Simulator 2018. No. Okay. 
nah. I will take that and the pre-war book. Now let's see. Nah, don't need it that bad. Wait, we were already in here. My mistake. Let's go. Oh, fuck. It's night time. Oh, no. My legs. Oh, God. We broke both legs. By the way, before we continue... Notes. Slave call instructions. Yeah, here we are. Blah 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 blah. You can read this. Uh, yeah, this is funny. Right, yeah, it works. Uh, warning. As class B, experimentally efficient weapon. You can have expect potentially embarrassing side effects. You may experience useful. Right? Increased aggression. Extremely rare purse. <laughs> Resonant brainwave feedback loop. Which is usually accompanied by explosive crani cranial deformation. Hmm. I wonder if it'll give me the ability to actually fucking talk like a normal person. And look at that. I can saw hold up in minefield. Arkansas. I've come for you, boy. Where are you? How do you even get a hold of this many landmines? Like, what are you doing? Fuck. Alright, let's try that again. Okay. Another pre roll book. Turn that off. Uh, let's see, items, uh, let's see. Don't need that. Or that. Really. I don't know, that's in, no, not that, no. Yeah, I guess. Peril, uh, I'm drink a beer. Darts, a brack, so take this. Take the teddy bear. Illustrated. I wonder if I can find an actual speech therapy book. Wait, I'm going. It looks like I need that. Yeah. But yes to this. Mesmatron. No, please. Yeah, yeah. You want some of that? Oh shit. Now's not the time to level up. Ah! Oh my head. Ah! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. This guy's gonna fucking destroy me any second. Yo, he completely caught me off guard with that. Right, where are you, cream of the crop? Fuck, okay. Wait, what?
What's happening? Hey there, bud. Oh, is it me or is the world spinning? Hmm, I think you have something that belongs to me. I need it back. Huh? I do? I don't think so. But go ahead and take a look if you want. Oh, thank you. I'll take that. Sniper rifle. I'm going to put this collar on you. Just hold real still for a minute. Sure. What's this thing for anyway? Uh. Start running to Paradise Falls or your head'll explode. That collar is a bomb. I'm a slave now? Don't kill me, please. I'm going. There you go. Yeah, baseball. Don't really need it that bad. I'm 28. Fuck that. Alright, now get out of here. he had around here. Well, I'd consider this a big success, so... I think maybe we can... call it... no, wait, there's still a house over here, I believe. Whew, that was close. Almost blew my little legs right off. Nothing in here. Oh god. Also, a really good alternative to avoid a landmine that is about to detonate is to simply just get out of the way quick enough. Speaking of which, uh, time to go ham. Ooh, that's messy. Mmm, tricky. What do I not need? Conductor? No. <laughs> I love this game. Oh god. Overloaded on meat. Howdy, partner! Now, let's see. Oh, what's this? that I can't say no to. Hold on. Well, that's all they have here, so... Time to fast travel out of here while the beer is still in effect. Yes. Fuck. Funny you say that. And I have no vodka. Oh well. And 
Amanda, let's go back here and uh, put our shit away. Yeah. Boy, do I breathe a lot easier. No. Hold on. Yeah, drop the when that gun thing right is here. Really dead. Gonna go take this fucking gun with me. Hey, come on. Hey, put it. And we're gonna wait out here for the rest of the night. Let's see, wait 12, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just to be safe. Man, if only waiting worked like this in real life, I'd be so happy. Hey, what a bitch. I got your shit done. How are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground. Like potatoes. And hot because they, um, explode. Anyway, what's up? I got through Minefield alive and I even brought you a present. My very own landmine! Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? The whole town is a trap. There was a sniper out there just waiting for me. Not quite as much of a ghost town as they say, is it? Good work staying calm and collected under pressure. It'll be a great example for the book. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course. But it's easy to make your own, too. The last part of this chapter is about radiation, right? Yes, that's what I need your help on. I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning, so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Hmm, okay, I'll get it radiated. Just be ready to fix me up when I get back. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness, but if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Alright. Let me see what you have for sale. What do you need? Now let's see. We've got a pistol. Just useless. <laughs> Give me all of the frag mines. You know, since I'm at it. Mm, nah. Don't need the flame three. Yeah. I have six of Brax OP, no? And what? 
what can I give you for two? Um, lunchbox. I'm done. Good hunting. I have to go now. Good luck with that research. All right, that's that's done enough bullshit. Let's head home, put our weapons away, and call it a day. See how Wadsworth is doing. Oh, Wadsworth, I'm home. seal and uh yeah that's good actually yeah, it's in okay shape not great but okay and done Ah, Wadsworth, what are you doing in my room? Good morning, sir. What can I do for you? I'd like something to drink. Certainly, sir. Here you are. And while we're at it, tell me a joke. Ah, do you know the best contraceptive for old people is nudity? <laughs> I'm gonna have to think about that one. I don't get it. Of course, of course. Don't let me keep you. Hey, it's not my fault you made such an obscure joke. Alright, good, and, uh, fair enough. This has been Boney McBonerton with episode 7 of Fallout 3. In the next episode, we will be getting irradiated by drinking a lot of pond water, and that'll be it. Have a good day now, and goodbye.